This is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store Forged Irish Delt, freebets.com. Delighted today to be joined on a lovely Saturday morning with Mark Tibbs. Um, I suppose firstly we'll start off. How's uh, how is everything, Mark? How have you been? Yeah, I've been uh been well, um, Louis. All, all good, mate. I can't complain. I'm just uh, um watching my son play tennis this morning and uh he's keeping me on my toes, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely, mate. Well, well, I, I won't keep you for too long. Um, I suppose we'll firstly touch on it. It has obviously been a busy period for your stable. Um, we've got another out in tonight. Um, I suppose one a, a new new addition to the stable. I made our team. Um, sort of looks to go nine and zero. He's had a bit of frustrations this camp with. I mean, numerous pullouts. But looking forward to his uh, performance tomorrow tonight. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually looking forward to work with him. Uh, he first came to our gym, and I had a look at him. He moved around with Giorgio Bizioli. They worked really, really well together. They're the same sort of weight, but um, it was. Uh, he, he's real. He's real. Got. He's got a dog on him. He's got. He's got. Um, he knows. Uh, he's a real old school Marvin Agler style kind of fighter. Yeah. Alexis Arguello. He's a. He's a lovely. He's a lovely character as well. Good person. He's got a good art. And uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to to the journey with him. He's got a decent fight tonight against a, a good southpaw from from Nicaragua. So that's going to be a that's going to be a we've worked on how to deal with the southpaw, and let's hope he comes off tonight. <laughs> but I'm looking forward yeah. to work with him tonight. Yeah, I was going to say that. Like when you are when he's when you have a camp and you're having, I suppose this is three different opponents now. Um, is it hard to sort of change, always be changing sort of different styles for different opponents? Is that is it always an important thing to just stay consistent towards the date, no matter who the opponent is? Well, to be fair, <clears throat> over the weeks <clears throat> and couple of months I've worked with um, Ahmed at him, um, we was preparing for a southpaw, and uh, so 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 that's where Giorgio Vizioli come in, in into play. He was in our gym, and uh, who better than, than Giorgio? And uh, I've got another guy called um, Philly James, who's a tall southpaw as well. So he had plenty of southpaw sparring. We had, uh, um, what's his name? Henry, uh, Al Smith's guy, Henry, uh, Henry. Henry Turner. Henry Turner. Henry Turner. We had Henry Turner. So yeah. we wasn't short of sparring. But then then we, we knew we had a change of opponent. So, uh, so uh, you know, I managed to get him orthodox sparring as well. And he was lovely. He can do. He can. He can. You know. He can adapt. He, he's really adaptable. So, so Mickey Moo, his manager of uh, Streetwise Management, he, he sent me an email. Said, "Listen, um, we've got a change of opponent." And he sent me him over. I said, "Listen, Mick." I had a look at them, three or four of them. I said, "Mick, yeah. you make your mind up, son. Yeah. Any one of them, South or Orthodox, <laughs> whatever you want, yeah. bring it on." That's how yeah. confident I am with, with, with Ahmed because our adaptable he is. Anyway, so I think uh I think they both, um Ahmed and Mickey had in their head that they you know, they wanted to try and get a southpaw. So credit to Mickey Moo of, of Streetwise Management yeah. pulling up a, a decent, a very decent southpaw indeed. Absolutely for sure. I suppose we'll go on to now last night's action. Um, Anthony Joshua putting in a, a dominant and, and savage display against Francis and Garnu. Um you know, for however long the fight lasted, what were your thoughts on the fight? I think it, it was a, a flawless, um, flawless performance by 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 Anthony Joshua. And you know, to be honest with you, the, the fight with uh, with Tyson Fury threw it for me. Threw it as in, yeah. oh, this you know, man is strong. He's like granite, and uh, he, he's from a fighting background and. Uh, and all of that, and I, it, it blew. You know, it threw me. I didn't know what to. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if, if Francis got the win, but uh, yeah. I didn't expect him to win. But if he got the win, I wouldn't be surprised. And I think most of the people in the boxing world thought that. But but Anthony went and did what what you should do to uh to novices. He, he literally mm. placed his shots, measured him up, then blew him away in, in emphatic fashion, and. uh yeah, so he did. He done the business last night for sure. I was going to say that there. When you look at, you know, Ty the Tyson Fury performance would have been a good measuring stick of how good a Garnu could have been. You know, putting Fury down in many eyes, beating Fury. So, how big of a statement do you think that is for Anthony Joshua to to make it look like a guy who, you know, this he AJ treated him like he was an Owen one, you know, he was a novice boxer. So, how big of a statement is that when people do compare it to the Tyson Fury performance? Well, when you look at uh, 
and Garno himself, what he does, uh, what he does, he's there to be it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, get me. He's there to be it. But like, like people in the boxing world uh, saw Anthony a little, uh, a little confused of late, and, and maybe a bit, uh, <clears throat> a bit gun shy. But um, <clears throat> he, he seems to have got, got, got. Uh, his weaponry back. Uh, it never went anywhere, but it's, yeah. it's about what's going on in the head. And uh, he literally uh, went about his business uh, how he used to. So that's uh, that is uh, a good sign. Uh, the British public and uh, the world of boxing have got uh, some more mm-hmm. more yeah. good fights from Anthony Joshua in the future for sure, definitely. Does that answer your question? Sorry. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Well, I was gonna I was gonna go on to that about sort of everyone was always. So the narrative has always been, when can we get the old AJ back? Is the old AJ sort of, um, the yeah. AJ of 2017, 2018. Do you firmly See, believe that, that we, is the, the old AJ? On the other hand, <clears throat> on the other hand, Louis, um, you know, he is a two, two, two fight professional boxing yeah. novice. Mm-hmm. So, so listen, but he could, Anthony probably could never win in this fight either way. Yeah. But, um, mm-hmm. but, but, you know, it's nice to see see uh Anthony do what you should do to these people uh with yeah. not taking a, you know too much away from 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 Nganu. he's a he's a proper warrior he just uh he, he, you know he's not a he's not a, an experienced professional boxer but you know um it also says uh how you know it could say how ill prepared Tyson Fury was yeah uh, or our under how uh, he underestimated him, uh, you know, so much. If that was the case, or is he past it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Um, um, Fury. So, so you know, there's a lot. There's a lot going through uh, everyone's heads right now. The real people know what you know what it's all about. But, um, but, but yeah, big up to uh, big up to uh, Anthony Joshua for, for for last night's performance. That's for sure. And when with with this, I did see a few tweets last night from from certain. Uh, journalists and media um, who were sort of talking about this is the potential dangers when you do put in, you know, a seasoned pro against a novice boxer. Um, do you think that people are right to have their concerns where we did see that obviously the way that Ngannou knocked out, the way that Ngannou got knocked out, these are the dangers and these are the levels between a top level boxer and a novice and to not really see stuff like this again? Yeah, well, listen, look, it is a dangerous sport, boxing, and uh, you can't willy-nilly yeah, people can't willy nilly, and uh, it was a perfect, it was a perfect basic setup. What what Anthony did, and you know, and, and, and all boxing people, all boxing people know that 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 uh, that uh, that combination. You know what I mean? And uh, but no, his measuring distance and his la his finalization of that shot, if that's a real word, finalization. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> He um he he literally put some elbow and hips in it because he knew he he knew and Garno wouldn't see it coming literally and he was out before he hit that deck as we all saw yeah so big. yeah so you know that's why good experienced boxing people should be around uh you know the the, the, the you know the, the business to look after. That's why you have to have experienced people to look after the people yeah. involved as well. And uh, yeah. it was it was great. It was a good show last night, I got to say. And Joseph Parker, really yeah. happy for him. It that. was a diff- it was a difficult task for for for, for Parker. Mm-hmm. That big that big giant of a man, Southmore, mm-hmm. Olympian, gold, uh, uh, former Olympian, and um, big unit. I think he, he trouble he trouble everyone in the division. Um, um, Zhang and. Uh, yeah. It was tough. It was tough for him last night, uh, Parker. I was hoping uh, the last three rounds he looked a little bit more, acted a little bit more offensively, I'd done a little bit more than he did, but he done enough to get the win. Yeah. Credit to him. I've got a couple last questions for you, Mark. And you, we will talk. We'll get onto Joseph Parker versus Gilles Zhang now. Um, and obviously for yourself, you're a trainer, so I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this. That when it comes to Gilles Zhang, one of the biggest problems and, and the biggest fundamental issues that he's always got is that. His, his his engine, his gas tank, and it's always sort of he has had very a lot of examples in the past. Um, the Jerry Forrest fight, and um, the Hergvich fight, and even tonight, last night, sorry, we saw that when it got to the end of the fight that there was serious conditioning issues um, with Zhang. What do you think that that could be a fundamental factor for him? Do you think it's preparation, um, just how he naturally is? Like why 
Why is that a problem, do you feel like, for Zhang, when you look at it from a trainer's point of view? Um, well, listen, um, it, it's, probably, it's probably due to his, uh, he's, he's reached, his, uh, he's reached his, his, his peak, his age, and all of that sort of thing. So, so Joseph and his team would have known, you know, to have, uh, to have got into them later rounds, you know, that, that wasn't, uh, it wasn't rocket science that, but, um, yeah, it's just, uh, the, the, the youthful specimen in, uh, Joseph Parker, uh, would have been better to be more busier in the later rounds against the, the older specimen as in Zhang. It would have been yeah. difficult for Zhang to uh, keep up with, uh, with pace. And it's just, yeah. it's just, uh, the way life is. It's just, um, yeah, I'm not too sure if uh, Zhang could uh, do any anything to prepare himself to be better in the later rounds at this yeah. stage of his career. Yeah. If that answers your question. Yeah, for sure. And just a final one from me. Um, how good is it now to see Joseph Parker almost turn this corner after uh, what could have been a shattering defeat against Joe Joyce where it was brutal and, and you know, fights like that could take years off your career, years off your life anyway. Um, how good is that to see that Parker has stayed resilient and you look at him now Back-to-back -back wins against Deontay Wilder and Gilles Zhang. That there's, there's potential great fights out there for the rest of them in 2024. That's I feel really elated for him. I mean, he's uh, he's done really, really well. Uh, you know, some say at the end of his career, or is he getting better? It's just uh, you know, it's, it's it's a good time for Joseph Parker right now. Really good time for him. But that was very hard for him last night. Trust me. Yeah. I'm he I'm hearing I'm hearing I'm hearing there is a he's got another another fight with him. And uh, oh really? Right. Okay. That's what I, that's what I'm hearing. He's got uh, he's got a rematch clause of Zhang, and I, I think I think now he's done that. I think him and Andy Lee will tweak uh, one or two things and do a better job next time. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. So so I'm, yeah, I really believe I really believe that. Yeah, absolutely, Mark. Just want to say thank you for taking time to speak to me. Really, really appreciate catching up with you. Uh, when, you, when your son's playing tennis, I appreciate you taking the time to speak to you, mate. So, all the best, mate. Top man, and have a, all the best for tonight as well with Ahmed. Thanks, Louis. All the best, mate. Oh, Thank man. you for your Thank time. You. Take care. Cheers, See you soon. Mate.